Okay, we're going to take a look at how to get started with the GarageBand soundtrack project. The first thing you want to do, of course, is to open up GarageBand by clicking on the icon in the bottom of the desktop. Takes a second to load up. Now this will automatically open up whatever the last file that was saved on GarageBand. So if that is not your file, you wanted to go go ahead and close that out, and then you'll see the menu screen here. And you want to click New Project. Now I want you to name your project, you and your partner's first name and last initial. So you can do Sam S and Susie Q if, as an example, and then put your section, which is 7-8. And it's fine if this is on GarageBand. Actually, it should be on GarageBand. And that'll save it on the desktop. Let's click Create. Takes a minute. The first thing I always like to do is to close out the keyboard here. You want to just click on the upper left-hand button. It's a red button. Close out the keyboard. And the next thing you need to do is to import your movie. To import your movie, you click on the movie and music icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the GarageBand screen. And that shows all the movies that have been loaded up onto this computer. You have the door one, the door two, three, so forth. So let's say you're assigned to do the door five. You want to click on it, hold it down, and then drag it where it says drag Apple Loops here. And it loads it up into the top track of GarageBand. And there you go. Now you'll notice you, along with the movie track up here, you have the movie sound here. You want to leave that alone because this is all the speaking dialogue in the movie. Um, you can go ahead and you can delete out the grand piano track. You just click on it to highlight it. Click on it and then go track, delete. The first thing in your project you need to do is fill out the soundtrack timeline. You want to hit play down at the bottom of the screen and watch the timeline for any action and record it in your, on, the, on your timeline sheet. It's ideal if you have this bottom display on time. So if I hit play here, it's going to go ahead and play. Well, that was, uh, now notice there's a little icon of the movie. If you double click on it, it makes it big. I'll hit pause. So you can drag this wherever you want to drag it. And you can drag the red bar. If I click on the cursor up here, I can be very precise with the time that everything changes. So we have the change in scene from here to right there. And if I look at the display, it's at 8.656 seconds. I would at least do 8.65 seconds. It tells me when that action starts. So you should use that in your timeline. And that's how to view movies in GarageBand.